Welcome to Workshop Wednesday, where you are going to learn how to back up your old Universal Analytics data. Welcome. My name is Julie Brody. I am the Director of Measurement for MeasurementMarketing.io. I've been building actionable dashboards since 2017, been a measurement marketer since 2015, and I've been teaching measurement marketing since 2017. I'm also the lead account manager for all of our dedicated measurement management clients as well as an instructor for measurementmarketing.io and for the Measurement Marketing Academy. So you've probably seen me back in the courses, workshops, as well as Ask an Instructor, an amazing team of instructors that helps you along the way as you're going through the different courses and platforms. And we're always eager and happy to help. So if you've seen us and heard us, we'd love to hear from you again. So reach out and say hi to us and Ask an Instructor. And as we go through this particular workshop, remember the one thing. Remember that you don't want to try to grab everything. You should grab one golden nugget, take it and make it your own, and then come back and get another one. So let's start. How to back up your old universal analytics data. And as we start, this is really important to remember our measurement marketing framework. We have our three steps, plan, build, and launch. And that's going to help us go from marketing in the blind, like not knowing what's working, what's not, kind of a chaotic system, to being able to know what's working, what's not, being able to know what button to push and to increase those revenue and profits. And we start out with our questions, information, and action. And the reason I'm going a little bit slower on this particular workshop is because this is vital to what we're about to talk about because you have to know what questions you need to be able to answer. When you're backing up your data, you need to know what it is you need to know. You have to be able to grab what you need and leave everything else that you don't need behind. And so this is where you need to make sure you're asking the right questions. Are you really going to need all that information or not? Um, then with the questions, you get the information you need and then you make sure you're able to take action. Now you go on to your results, traffic, and story, meaning you understand what resu results you're getting. Those are your goals, your revenues, your transactions, all that stuff, and then the traffic that's causing those results, and then creating a story from that information. And going on, you are in your launch step where you're going to listen, forecast, and optimize. So that's where you're being able to tie it all together, go through the whole framework. And this is really, really important as you're going through and backing up your universal analytics data so you don't uh, either waste money, waste time gathering stuff that you don't need. So let's go ahead and move on to our actual presentation. So. This is probably what you're used to seeing, universal analytics. And we're looking at one month versus of data and you're like, I need to be able to have this. Well, let's talk about what's going to happen first. And so you can see this information here. We can click on learn more and you can definitely educate yourself all these things. And um, one of the things that you really need to be aware of is this right here. Um, this changes every couple of weeks. Um, it used to change like every couple of months, but now as we're getting closer and closer to July 1st, you know, we're July 1st where Google Analytics 4 takes over and Universal Analytics will no longer collect data. So yes, as of July 1st, 2023, let's go back, open it up. So this date right here, there will be no data coming into Google Analytics, this old Universal Analytics. So what this little statement, well, that's something what I wanted to do. This statement right here is telling us, um, and this statement right here is telling us that the data, the information is going to be gone about six months after that. So we can probably think early 2024, we're not going to have any data. So why is that really important to understand? Well, some of us, you know, we have our universal analytics, and then we have dashboards tied to that information, as in the platforms that we're using could be Looker Studio, it could be Sheets, it could be something else. They are grabbing this information directly from this database. It is a database. And so what's going to happen when this database goes away is the dashboard goes away. There is no longer the dashboard. There's nothing going to be able to collect it. It's going to be blank and not work anymore. So what we need to do is we need to have something else connect into our dashboard or be able to store our data. Um, so in this workshop, we're primarily going to be looking at ways to do it 
for free. Um, and obviously the free options are going to kind of depend on how much data you have and what data you're going to need. So that's where you go back to your framework and really think about what is it you're going to need. Think about what questions you're going to have a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, um, and then kind of go from there. All right, so let's go back into our Google Analytics. So one of the ways that you can store, save, back up your data from old universal analytics is by choosing this export option. So like, let's say this is a report that you use all the time. You can then choose the rows. Let's say you want the top 25 uh, or something like that. You want the top 25 and you want to do it by month because you're going to have to export by month. And we could choose this option. You could do it either by PDF or you can do it in Google Sheets. And this is kind of what that Google Sheets option would look like for you. So you can see all the rows uh, at this particular time. I only did the 10. And so you can go through and see that um, here. And then obviously you would have to um, rearrange the data and uh, gather the data into possibly a different spreadsheet that would uh, correlate all the data together and combine it and kind of work through that. So it, it would take time um, and you would be paying for someone's time to do that, um, possibly your own time, but this is a very free option. Um, and it also depends on how much you have built out inside of your universal analytics. And so if you have goals and stuff, you could be able to do the same thing with those kind of like where your goal, where's your traffic coming from, which traffic source is um, causing those goals. So you can relate to it and correlate to it um, in the years to come. It's like is how does January do normally? And you'd be able to do that either with a sheet or the PDF or something like that. So we have our little example here. And so one of the first one is export GA into Sheets and some sort of like either Excel, Google Sheets. Technically, you could do a PDF as well. Another one is if you have a dashboard already. So let's go into a Looker Studio dashboard. So we have this dashboard. And one of the things that we can do is we can come into one of these tables and we can again come through here and export. This is also going to be very similar to what we have inside of Google Analytics and kind of what we just saw, but perhaps this is allows us to see just exactly what we want to see. We want to see users and we want to see the people that get to the thank you page and it kind of narrows it down and allows us not to have all the extra stuff that maybe we don't necessarily need. Possibly it kind of depends on what it is you're looking for. Um, in our experience, exporting tables from Looker Studio is pretty simple and easy. Um, and so that's a really efficient way to do that. If you come in here um, and try to select this one and then export here, I'm not going to really work for you. So that is one way or another way, I should say, to do that. The other way is to download your dashboards as PDFs. And so far, everything that we're talking about here is completely free, just time consuming, but completely free to do. Um, and so the way that you would go through and export your dashboard, again, having a date range here, um, and then you can come in to share, and then you can choose to download the report here, and you go through and you can choose all the pages, or you can choose select pages, and then you can have that. And this is a, um, I don't want to say a fast way, but because it does take a moment, like when actually you can click on this and it's going to sit here and process in this particular example, it takes a few minutes. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Eventually it's going to pop up and say, hey, where do you want to save this? Um, so we're going to ignore that when it does finally pop up. But here's what it would look like. So you can see over here the big picture, which is still fantastic to be able to use. You cannot really interact with it. Like these things are kind of pointless, these drop downs. But you are able to see a snapshot in time to kind of know where were we at this particular time. And then, you know, what was what were our forecast or so, you know, what was going on at this time? What was our traffic sources? Um, who was doing what kind of going through the framework? We were able to answer our questions, take action on that and be able to kind of correlate and com com compare. That's the word I'm looking for. Compare the data. Um, to whatever it is, like maybe in 2024, January, we want to be able to compare to 2023. Um, so that is another way to do that. And so the next way is using a Google Sheets extension. And in my opinion, this actually might be the 
best way to do this. We've had um, uh, workshops in the past and we technically even have an entire two courses about using Google Sheets and, and one about using Google Sheets and another one about using um, this extension building funnels. And so in my humble opinion, if you want to go the free route, this is the best way. So if you come into a Google Sheet and you go to extensions, you can choose add-ons and you can get add-ons, even though they call them extensions and add-ons, they go interchangeable. You can type in Google Analytics and like just go for the search. And this is the one that you want. You can see a ton of downloads. We're gonna go ahead and back out and then we will go into our extensions and we see it right here. And this is where we can create a new report and real quick um, note about using any sort of these extensions with Google Sheets. In case you run into any sort of errors, what you have to be, you have to be logged in as the user in here and here. If I am logged in as my normal Julie email, it won't allow me to use some of these extensions because there's a conflict of interest, especially if we don't have the same permissions. So if you ever run into any errors with any sort of Google um, extension uh, inside of Sheets um, or like anything, if it's not necessarily built by Google, but it's going to need those same permissions. So if that's actually a common problem um, and just a security thing that Google has. It used to be not something that we had to worry about, but it's over the past few years. If you're logged in as one user here and a different user here, um, you will have the issues. You just log in incognito and you're good to go. So we're going to call this one a source uh, medium report. And we're going to go ahead and choose which type of this is technically the Google demo store. So we can go ahead and use this one and you just choose our different metrics and dimensions that we want to use. So we can just source medium and let's say we want to say revenue. That's what we want to be able to use. Could I that? And here is the most amazing thing that we can use with this extension. So remember inside of Universal, there's these cool things called segments where you can actually go through and say, I need to see them if they go this step, then this step, then this step. Like in this, here's a great example. Let's go ahead and edit. And so if I want to know they go from this page to this page to this page, it's a very clear path. You would be able to use those segments inside here. And again, we have other courses and workshops to show you how to do that. But this is a phenomenal way to be able to build those funnels. It does take time, but it's free. And so that's just another way where you can quickly back up your data for that. So let's go ahead and create the report. It's going to create this new tab here. And this is where you would then go through and adjust your dates. And so this way, say we want one, uh, one, two, oh, two, three, and the end date is going to be one, 31, two, oh, two, three. And so we just changed our date so we can make sure that, hey, this is January. And we can even put that in here, January, um, if that's what we're looking for. And then we go into extensions, we choose this and run. And once we go through this, I don't have permissions. That's okay. So it's because we're choosing the Google demo account and we're going to go through real quick. I want to show you how to fix that. We're going to create a new report and we're going to go ahead and choose our actual measurement marketing.io and we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and create, even though I don't have anything there. All I'm doing is grabbing this little handy dandy number because it's say the view ID. Um, and again, you can find out what exactly that is in the courses and workshops. I'm just removing that for the sake of this workshop. And so now I know I have permissions there. Um, usually Google demo will allow us to, but I was just proven wrong. Let's go ahead and run the report. And it's if depending on how much data you have, it might take a little bit. And so now you have your data, you have the revenue, you have your users by traffic source, you can go through and now your next step would be to sort and make this pretty. However, did you want, if you have someone that knows spreadsheets on your team, you are in luck. And so what would we do next? We would then kind of grab this and then we would be able to change our dates to February and go through that. 
You get the idea. We would go through and you would be able to back up your data however far back you need or however, whatever date ranges you need. And then again, you would have somebody that would either combine these into another report. You wouldn't necessarily leave these here. You would have to go copy and paste them into another report, however it is you need to see that data. Um, and so that is the other way that you can go ahead and um, have your data be backed up for free. Again, time consuming, um, and you do have to go through the framework where you understand what it is you actually need so you're not grabbing stuff you don't need. There are other paid options, and currently as the recording of this workshop in the middle of March 2023, um, there are paid options coming out, and I assume like as the year goes on, as we get closer and closer to 2024, there's going to be a lot of other paid options, but you have to be really careful with those paid options because if they get too much data, like meaning all of the stuff you don't need because they're not going through the framework, um, thinking back to all of this. So let's go into what could be something that we don't necessarily need. Well, let's go here, um, going into our events, like because we teach things, we have like um, other information that maybe we don't necessarily need. Um, and this is possibly what they would grab. They would say, oh, we're going to show you all of your uh, category action labels. Do I really need this stuff? Is this really going to be helpful or be useful for me? Possibly not, unless I'm going into and asking a very specific question, like how many people click on this link from this page? And that's not going to be the way that you'll be able to use that data. So you need to make sure whatever backup tool you're using, if it is a paid option, that you still stick to the framework where you ask the right questions, get the right information so you can take action. So be very careful when you're going through those. And if you have a question about those, reach out to us and ask an instructor and we'll help guide you through what would be the best option for you. Because uh, for us, just as a, you know, complete, honest and, you know, transparency for our clients and for us, each person, each client is getting something slightly different than the other because every single client is has a different, you know, a lot different type of data, different information that, that we built from. Um, and so there are some of them that will be doing the sheets thing. Um, there are some of them that technically we've been already using something similar to this for four or five years. So we don't have to back anything up. It's already technically been backed up and in, into a spreadsheet um, for as long as we can go back with them. And so um, for those, we don't have to worry about this. But then there's others who have massive amounts of data that we're going to end up having to back up because of the amount of traffic they have. And so we will be going into some of these other paid options, and it will include something like BigQuery. Because um, Google Sheets, you can only have a certain amount of cells in those sheets. And each one of these, like this is a cell, this is a cell. So you can only have a certain amount of cells. And if you have a lot of data, you're, that's not going to scale. So again, we have other paid options and we will have other workshops here in the future that guide you through those different paid options. And again, if you have questions in the meantime, we just reach out to us and ask instructor support. So what was your one thing? Was it the fact that your data will actually be gone in 2024? Like not just no more longer collecting the data, but gone. So let's make sure that we sit subscribe on the button so you can always stay up to date. We'll let you know about those upcoming more backup options, those free options, as well as those paid options. We'll make sure you, sure you stay up to date. All right. Remember the, forca uh, the forecast. We'll make sure you do forecast, but remember the measurement marketing framework where you want to make sure you go plan, build and launch is really important as you're going through it and backing up. And remember, you do have a free course with that. So we'll show you the link here in just a moment. But inside the Measurement Marketing Academy, there is a free membership called a toolbox where you get all kinds of different tools for free, including the Win the Measurement Marketing Framework, a course where it goes through the framework so that you can kind of level up your strategy. And a lot of us uh, market, a lot of the marketers we have in our academy says like that was the missing piece. Like that allowed them to really level up and kind of get the client that they were looking for. So if that's something for you, make sure you join the Measurement Marketing Academy today. Hit the button and you can go to learn more at measure.tip slash get academy. And if you are a Measurement Marketing Academy member for marketers or professionals, those are the paid options. Make sure you reach out to us and ask instructor support or the Winner Circle community. We'd love to hear from you. And so that was how to back up your old Universal Analytics data. We'll see you next time.